Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about how to calculate podcast address from a given IP address and subnet mask. Let's take an example. Let's say the IP address is 192.168.3.65 and the subnet mask is 245.245.245.0. Now, if you have a 255 in the subnet mask, then the corresponding broadcast address octet is the same as the IP address octet. Uh, this is similar to the network address calculation that you saw in another video. So the broadcast address in this example we start with the first octet is uh, 255 in the subnet mask so we copy the IP and two second octet we also copy one six eight third octet we also copy three now if you have a zero in the subnet mask then while calculating broadcast address you don't put zero rather we we'll put two five five so in this case our last octet is zero in the subnet mask the broadcast address would be two five five so this is the only difference when you make the broadcast address compared to the network address if you have a zero instead of putting zero you put 255 okay so i will make this statement okay if you have a zero the subnet mask that's going to put in broadcast address octet is 255 Let's take another example. If the address is 200.2.245.2.2 and the subnet mask is set to 55.255.255.0. So the broadcast address will be 200.3.245.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
as 2.6 minus the subnet mask on this octet. We will calculate the jump for the fourth octet, so 192, which is 64. Again, we get all multiples of 64 starting from 0 to 0, and then 64, and then 128, and then 192, and then 256. Now, uh, there's a difference between calculating network address yeah. and broadcast address in this example. Okay, let me fill up these tables that I forgot. Okay, uh, now in calculating the broadcast address, what we did for calculating the network address was we looked at these multiples and found out the multiple that is not over the IP address but closest to the IP address which was in this example 128 that was the network address for broadcast address we found the jump that is over the IP address on that octet which is 192 and then we just go back one address from there. Let's see. So let's make it 192. Now, this is not really the broadcast address. The one address less than this address would be the broadcast address. Let's say the IP address is 170.45.23.210 and the subnet mask is 255.255.224.0 uh, address as before we copy the IP address if the sub mask is 255 so 170.45 and we put 255 if any octet value in the subnet mask is 0 so 255 now the third octet is neither 0 nor 255 so you calculate the jump equal to 56 minus 24 which is 32 now we get different multiples of 32 0 32 and you stop as soon as you go over this uh, IP value on the octet that we are calculating now. So, the octet IP value is 23. So stop right here, 32, and make this address as 32.25. Now, remember, this is not really the broadcast address yet. We have to go back one address from this octet. So let's make this correction, which is 31. So the broadcast address we got for this given IP address and subnet mask is 170.45.31.255. Alright. Let's take an example from class A IP address and find its broadcast address 120.134.97.154 and let's say the subnet mask is 255.240.0.0 so we start with address if you have a 255 in the subnet mask then you copy the IP put that octet to 0 this is not 0 and not 255 so we'll calculate with two additional step for that octet and we have a 0 here so you put 255 and the last octet is also 0 in the subnet mask so 255 now let's calculate the jump for the second octet. Jump 
is equal to 256 minus 240 equal to 16. All right. We will calculate different multiples of jump 16 starting from 0, 0, 16, 32, and keep going. We'll eventually come to 28 and 128 plus 16 is 144. We already crossed the IP address 134 and we don't need to calculate anymore. We put this 144 in the broadcast address four. and then go one address lower than this address which is 143 so the broadcast address for this given IP address and submit mask will be 120.143.255.255 now you can go to the website and also look at the steps how to calculate the submit mask by going to the help link also you can practice different multiple choice questions in this example we have the submit mask 255.255.00 so straightforward copy first two updates and then 255, 255, so option D. This is not a 255 or in this example there is a subject mask by which is not 255 or 0. So the first two octets are 255, 255. The broadcast address would be the same as IP address in the first two octet. And the last octet in the submit mask is zero, so the last octet in the broadcast address will be 255. <coughs> All right, and for the third octet, we need to calculate jump, which is 256 minus 2 to 4, that is equal to 32, and we take different multiples of 32 on the third octet and stop when we reach above this number 137. 32 times 0, 0, 32 times 1, 32, and then 64. Keep going. 128 plus 32 is 160. But to get the broadcast address, we have to subtract one value from that 160, which is 159. So our answer is this one, the first one. All right. Next one here jump is 32 on this octet. If we get different multiples of 32, we'll come up to 96. 96 plus 32 is 128. 128 and then minus 1 is 127. So this is the answer. Another example. The jump is 4. So we get different multiples of 4 and we'll come up to 236. And 236, which is over 232 and then minus 1 on that octet which is 234 all right i hope you will be able to find the broadcast address from any given ip address and subject mask quickly